Hello everyone. Welcome to the topic on stress. In this video, we are going to learn about stress and types of stress. First, stress. What is stress? When a load is applied to an object, it tends to deform it. To keep the shape, an internal resistive force is applied in the opposite direction of the applied force. By definition, stress is defined as the internal resistive force of action per unit area is called as stress. Stress is the ration between force to the cross-sectional area. The unit of the stress is newton per square meter or pascal. Now, let us see the type of stress. Generally, the stress broadly classified into two types as normal stress and shearing or tangential stress. This normal stress, further classified into two types as longitudinal stress and bulk or volume stress. This longitudinal stress, further classified into two, one, tensile stress, two, compressive stress. Now let us see about normal stress. There are two types of normal stress. One, Longitudinal stress. 2. Bulk or volume stress. Longitudinal stress. The stress developed due to the longitudinal direction of applied force. The longitudinal force will be applied perpendicular to the area of cross section. Example. Tensile stress. And. Compressive stress. Next. Bulk stress. When the deforming force or applied force acts from all sides on the object, resulting that the change of volume of the object. The stress developed is called volumetric stress or bulk stress. If the volume of body changes due to the deforming force, it is called as volume stress. Now let us see about tensile stress. The stress developed by the application of tensile force is called tensile stress. The force will be equal opposite and perpendicular to the cross-section direction. Now let us see about compressive stress. The stress developed by the application of compressive force. The force will be equal, opposite and perpendicular to the cross-section direction. Next, shear stress. Shear stress developed due to shear forces. The pair of forces acting on opposite sides of a body with the same magnitude and opposite direction. The stress developed by the application of shear force is called shear stress. Okay guys. Thank you.